Okay, we proceed with the next uh, presumption under social and family agreements. Okay, uh, the example of family agreements, uh, agreements made between uh, husband and wife, okay, between uh, siblings, brother and sister, okay, between uh, uh, granddaughter and grandmother, for example. Okay, but if uh, the agreement made between friends, Okay, uh, this agreement will be construed as business or commercial agreements. Okay, not considered as a family agreement. Okay, uh, so the presumption used by court is the agreement is not intended to be legally enforceable. So court presumes that agreement itself, uh, sorry, the parties in the agreement have no intention to be legally enforceable. Okay, unless specified otherwise. Okay, so a case in point is the case of Balfour against a Balfour, 1919. Okay, what happened in this case is the husband, eh, a civil servant, stationed in Thailand. Okay, while on leave in England, he has promised okay, to pay his wife a monthly allowance as maintenance. Okay, however, later he defaulted the promise. And the wife sued him. Okay, so what do you think in this contract? Whether the contract was legally uh, binding, legally bind the parties or not? No. Okay, because there was a family agreement. There, the there was no legally binding agreement because parties, okay, husband and wife, did not intend. They should be intend attended by legal consequences. Only a promise okay the husband only make a promise to his wife okay um, however remember this presumption can be rebutted okay how to rebut this presumption uh, how to prove that you have intention to conclude the contract uh, this is known as rebuttable uh, presumption eh? rebuttal of presumptions okay if it is subject to contract agreement. So the win and bull, okay, as I mentioned just now, this is applied for uh, commercial agreements. Okay, first they have a written agreement. Okay, and then in the written agreement, they have stated subject to the preparation and approval of a formal contract. However, there was no formal contract entered into, so it was held that there was no enforceable contract. All right. So what if they have prepared for a contract? Uh, maksudnya ada contract between them, eh? ada valid contract. Okay, and the same um, presumption applied in the case of a married against married. Okay, take note this is for family agreement. Okay, just now in a Balfour against Balfour, they have not uh, prepared any written agreement, right? Okay, so obviously they have no intention to be legally binding. However, okay, in a married against married, yes, okay, both parties have intention because their agreement was recorded in writing and signed by the husband. Uh, okay, so the court decided that the parties had intended to create legal relation. Okay. So, please remember that, okay, under intention to create legal relation, uh, you have two presumptions, okay, under business agreements and under family agreements. So, you must know these presumptions and then the rebuttable presumptions. Okay, that's all for this element.